This is Magro River. Very small, tiny, tiny river. The area definitely has a bigger name. All the restaurants are on one street. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Magro River. In this video, we're gonna visit a stunning region in Western Australia, perfect for a relaxing yet adventurous vacation. We will have a chance to explore Magro River's famous winery. A wine tour through the vineyards promises a fun and tasty experience where we will sample some very good wines, Australia best wines and learn about the winemaking process. When we're not sipping wine, we will take some time to visit the Hamelin Bay. Beautiful spot that offers gorgeous beaches and the opportunity to see stingrays swimming in the clear water. At the middle of the video, we're gonna have an extra Bustleton Jetty, a must-see attraction. This is the longest timber-made jetty in the Eastern Hemisphere. Hello, hello. We are now in Margaret River. You might have seen it on a lot of wine bottles. Very good wine bottle. Margaret River means wines and vineyards and wine tours and good food. But today we're gonna do all of them. We are going on a full day wine tour with lunch, four boutique small wineries, as well as a brewery at the end. It's only 10 a.m. in the morning, so yes, we do start drinking before noon, as, as everybody does probably during vacation, and we look forward to it. Lovely first experience at Hayshed Hill wines, very good white wines, red wines. I think the cross favorite was a um, Tiverdot, a red wine, $50 a bottle, takeaway. This was the first stop. Three more wineries to go, one brewery, and lunch in between. Montagui Winery, second winery of the tour. We had really, really good whites, really, really good reds. It's that kind of winery that you can't hate it. We ended up buying some rosé. The company was good. Like every other wineries and wine tours, it's good. We have a really nice dog here. But it's just a small cabin in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by some vineyards. You wouldn't even know it's a vineyard. Really recommend it. If you are in Margaret River, give it a try, either in a tour or you're driving here. It's really, really nice. This is how it looks like. And I'll see you at the next stop. Nice place at the swings and roundabout, good food, good pizza, 
good atmosphere, good view, good weather. The wines were a bit disappointing, but hey, it's all part of the adventure. Let's see how the next wine will be like. Is a dream a lie if it don't come true? Or is it something worse that drives me down to the river? I know that the river is dry down to the river tonight. And we're back seven and a half hours later. That was a full day wine tour it's 5 45 beautiful margot river scenery good wine white wines rosé red gin craft beer so it's really really worth doing a wine tour if you are in margot river area we used wine for dudes tour company and check them out really good Hamelin bay looks so very popular judging by the limited amount of car park and huge amount of cars. So let's go, let's see the Stingrays. We sat for lunch and we have such a great view. Lots of them jetties is in front of us. Hello from Basselton. We are close to Margaret River. We're gonna spend a couple of days here, full of wine, winery visits, beach, more beach.
the cap. This is a uh, wants to play on the channel. The longest jetty in the Eastern Mediterranean. Take the train, there's a small train, the entry ticket is four dollars. Today we're gonna head to a special part of Western Australia, it's Hamelin Bay. It's become world famous for the remarkably friendly stingrays that swim right up to the shore on any given day um, and they're very very friendly. So we Hamilly Bay used to be a small port, but turned out the waters were too difficult to navigate. Nowadays, it's a tourist hotspot, thanks to beautiful beaches with the potential for excellent snorkeling, diving, fishing, and of course, intimate moments with stingrays, sometimes as big as two meters. So where is Hamilly Bay? If you're coming from Perth, it's only a three hour and 15 minutes drive. If you're coming from Marks or Marga River, where we are right now, it's just a half an hour drive. So what not to do in Hamelin Bay? And number one is do not harass the stingrays. Stingrays will come to you if they feel comfortable. So don't force them and don't harass these creatures in their natural environment. Good. The beach is very white. Very soft, just like salt. Oh, I can see, oh, I can see the water now. Yeah, beautiful. The water is cold. The stingrays to Hamelin Bay. It's time for Hamelin Bay wines. Winery over here. It's a farm. A really nice winery. It was windy until now. We heard now it's just perfect. So it's 1 pm in the afternoon. Amazing. Once did, once did. 